start my presentation by telling you something about SKO. SKO is the uh, Dutch Joint Industry Committee for Television uh, uh, Measurement. Um, in um, 2013, we changed our strategy and we broadened up the scope not only to television but also to online video. And uh, with this change of uh, strategy, it lit, lit to us to have two changes. On one side, we, we look for collaboration with other not broadcaster publishers who are participating in SKO uh, in the new online measurement. On the other side, we look also uh, collaboration with uh, other internet-only uh, publishers. And uh, talking about collaboration, uh, we also work with different uh, uh, media um, research agencies in the Netherlands for the television uh, research, but also for the new online uh, projects. So last year, uh, we presented our new video data integration model in uh, San Sebastian by ICOM. And um, yes, I will go to, I would like to go very, very fast through it. Uh, this uh, new uh, model has four components. The first one is census data uh, measurement. Uh, by this, I mean online uh, video content uh, measurement, which is a text measurement in uh, um, the player. The player uh, from uh, participating publishers where SDKs or libraries from uh, measurement uh, companies are uh, implemented is Comscore, but it's also other uh, measurement companies who are certified. For the online uh, ads of online uh, commercial measurement, uh, we um, measured through uh, fast events. It's an automatic tool that provides uh, tags of pixels uh, in ad management uh, systems from uh, agencies and publishers participating by S in SKO. The second step of the model is a new, uh, a fresh online panel. Third uh, step is the integration between uh, the online panel and the census data to produce online ratings. The fourth step is a cross-media rating fusion through uh, television uh, uh, currency, the actual television currency, and the new online ratings. So this was a very fast uh, overview of the model. Let me talk about, all the, of, uh, about the online panel. This is a, a panel which is uh, recruited in households. It is reporting on 5,000 uh, individuals, but it's recruited in a household scheme, and that gives some advantages. One of them is uh, the possibility to measure shared usage of devices, and uh, also to have an insight in co-viewing and uh, children uh, behavior, which is normally very difficult to, to, to find and to recruit with individual panels. Uh, in this panel, we have a software uh, uh, meter, the virtual meter from Kantar, and um, this is able to uh, recognize uh, usage from panelists and um, the usage of these panelists can be looked up in the census project as uh, I described before. This gives us insights in uh, who um, uh, uses uh, which device and which type of content. Um, this uh, panel is also um, uh, join use with uh, the Media Owners Committee, the Internet of Digital Measurement. And um, this provides us uh, the possibility to expand the panel and also uh, to introduce other uh, non tag types of measurement uh, within this. This is with Kwakupa technology. And um, it uh, allows uh, to have a kind of total video usage for other non tag uh, parties. Then uh, just a little bit on this data integration model, it is not possible to have uh, the reality measured only with panels. Size may be uh, uh, a burden there. And you won't be able to uh, report on the long tail and on the specific uh, granularity of uh, program broadcast and ads of creative uh, level. But you will have a very good controlled environment to have rich and demographic estimates. So the data integration model that Kantar offers really combines the best of both worlds, if you want to say it like this. 
then uh, what we have is uh, really a model that gives uh, output on the daily overnight level on a program, as I say, creative at level, and uh, which is possible to um, integrate in the software that media agencies or publishers are using. So we produce raw data on a um, um, daily level, and it's uh, all, all um, um, provided with calculation rules, so um, all the market partners can use this data as they are used for the television uh, data. And then the first online ratings in uh, 2015, uh, we start uh, with uh, this data, and we start publishing since January. Uh, it gives us insights in um, the uh, common use between TV and uh, online. It may be, you see the, the, the percentage of online through the, the different target groups, usage for a month, and what you see there is, is a, a very small, uh, of a very uh, low level, but it may be very important in terms of uh, time spent for certain target groups. And that's what we are doing this for. So if you compare the profiles between TV and uh, other online devices, you see that uh, these other online devices are really reaching uh, younger target groups. Um, now, the reporting has the possibility to look into the, the share of online within TV, but also to look at this from two perspectives, from the viewing moment online, when it is viewed online, but also from uh, the perspective of the TV schedule. So the insight in the long tail is also there. I could uh, talk a lot about it, but time is very, uh, uh, very limited. Next steps uh, are um, reporting uh, uh, the online commercial uh, part of the online, uh, online ratings, and then the, the real cross-media step forth I was explaining to you, reporting on video total, and, and both uh, are going to be uh, happening this year. Then again, um, I think I'm perfect on time, but uh, if you have any questions, uh, please contact us. We have a lot of information in, in terms of transparency. We have almost all information on the website in English, but I will be happy to, to answer your questions. Thank you.